elevator's broken. No problem. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way. It fires automatically if you leave it charged for like five seconds. Dramatically illuminated control panel. Can I get to it? Does it do something? It's all crumpled when you land on it. I love that. Tropic Echo. Different from everything before. Yeah, that's right. I killed him without a crosshair.
there's so many pathways. This leads back to the furnace chamber? Sort of, maybe. Thought that seemed suggestive. back in this area, I gotta be on the lookout for TVs with fire in them. discovered. Oh. Shit. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, jeez. Okay. Doubt I can do much here without the ability to withstand the stuff, but I'll try. Let's try again. Damn these railings. Oh, God. They don't break, do they? <laughs> no. They curve. Shit, and they shoot so fast. Ugh, I wish I had a way to heal without enemy healing droplets. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Okay, I'll come back here later. The wall fixes itself every time it loads my save game. How many points have I lost? 50,000? Last time I checked I was at 30,000, so I don't know how many points I've lost. That just loops around to the furnace area thingy. That explode? Surprisingly not. Alright, so we have to go this way.
quarry equipment order. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research wants. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Oh, that's what I was hearing. I see. Can you follow me up here? No. Whoa. Not what I expected. <laughs> so beautiful. I don't think this is going to do it, <laughs> so let's come back here when we have the float ability, levitate. The ability that I think exists? I think it was mentioned in the controls. Yeah, see it says jump slash levitate space. Activate the explosive, I think that's what that is. Looks like it needs a uh, three power cubes. Oops. <laughs> well, before we activate that last one, let's explore a little bit.
Yeah, we still gotta activate it, so that's fine. Just wanna explore more of this place. Too steep. Hmm. I get the feeling we're gonna get the levitate thing pretty soon. So I. Ooh. So I don't, I don't want to try too hard to get to an area that'd be pretty effortless to get to with Levitate. Oh, fuck. You know what? Why am I even trying to use the stones? Blow the thing. Quarry incident. During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of... The whole team was aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained something for more than something minutes until I had to resort to literally something. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Wait, I'm sorry. You have a city down here? There's like a... S what? The prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs? Then Dylan. Ah, look at these huge chunks of rubble that I can move. Oh, there's multiple. I don't know if I can go this way. Ah, yes. No smoking reminder. All bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still a part of the bureau and therefore the no smoking, smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employee to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and the possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for understanding. Grr. 
Christ, they're even here. I'm assuming they can't come to a control point because it's kind of like a safe area, right? Yeah, they don't seem to be getting any closer. I'd feel a lot safer if I just went somewhere, though. Oh, right, they're moving back to Central Executive. Marshall is, so let's head back there, too. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs? He'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is, authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him? We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. with survivors inside. We're waiting on HRAs before we open them. Once we can safely bring them out, survivors will be escorted here straight away. Wonderful. Keep me updated. Ah, still just the one outfit. Okay, we have a lot of ability points. I just want to spend it on launch damage. I could get us all the way to max launch damage. Our launch is already so powerful. But, um, let's get energy and health.
Ooh, one more point spent. And we'll have an additional personal mod slot. Still need more Entropic Echo. How are our mods looking? Oh, also, I think we got some new stuff. Hiss Distorted. What is that? That might have been that thing that we encountered once as like a boss and then I almost instantly killed it. His distorted agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussion blast when in close range of their target. Curiously, the Hiss Distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The Hiss Distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power. How does this invisibility work? Does the Distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use Hiss Resonance to refract light? The physical deformation of this particular Hiss entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly the, clearly the human host would have died from such extreme alteration which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? Oh right, the x-ray light box. The object is a light box used to examine x-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named something. Could forcefully seize an individual's something. My mind, I guess. Yeah, it's too much redacted. It's pretty much useless, isn't it? A janitor named something bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital. Would that be Ahti? Now we've heard all of these, right? There are areas in the oldest house where under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where black rock comes from. Extra dimensional matter. It has the unique property of blocking out a lot of frequencies, a, a good thing. It keeps things stable, contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. Ah, that's a thing we saw like the second half of. Yeah, these are all things we heard, just didn't need to hear them in the menu. We heard them in, uh, heard them diegetically, I guess you could say. But these are new. Nothing terribly interesting. Yeah, how are our mods looking? Any of the rare ones new? Nah, pretty common ones. Looks like there's new stuff to talk about with Emily. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Old growth. 
Hold G to activate. Well, I'm doing it and it doesn't work because I'm in a dialogue tree. These are all things we haven't talked about, I think. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. They're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. The I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. <laughs> this place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. <laughs> I'm hopeful that... Dr. Underhill, the reason Emily was so interested in them, is maybe their girlfriends. Jesse learns of the active threshold below central research and the researcher named Dr. Underhill working there. Linguistic ability. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message? An incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Okay, it says it should be... Or not it, but they, Dr. Uh, Underhill, should be below central research. Oh, looks like we also have to destroy his nodes, too. That's a thing around here?
Where are the other hiss nodes? Got some entropic echo. Christ, that was a lot of enemies. Eyes burn. I haven't blinked in like a full minute. <laughs> huh. Okay. Below central research. So just down. I don't know. The weird thing is it doesn't show any unexplored areas on the map, so I'm not really sure what to do with that. Wait, have we not been here? Was I not able- to Oh, I wasn't able to go in here before, was I? I think this was covered with, like, red stuff. The red, you can't go in here stuff. Yeah, this isn't even on the map. bodes well. But, uh, what did this power? Oh, the elevator so I can get back. Okay. Okay, that stuff is giving off nastiness. I think that stuff will hurt me. Oh, wait, really? It doesn't? under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Yeah, I'm going in. Excuse me? Are you lost? Um... 
let's get educated before we talk to them. Underhill checking in. Hello, Rhea. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into the into life at the old FBC? Also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise. Incredibly bright. Extremely intuitive. But I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything beside the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. Always admired that about you. Talk soon, Casper. Threshold Utility Counter Essay Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into... Yes, admittedly this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. I'm liking this doctor. I haven't even spoken with them. Mold Threshold So you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to... Construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these something are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold 1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those hiss things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. And these samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. They really hate us. Or just don't care about us. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. 
The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size is simply staggering. So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? What do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these... these... superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. They're right about a lot of the things they said, but also, God, are they annoying too. Grows near fresh corpses, grows near toilets, television, staircases, near the pit. So are any of these going to be out here? Are any of them marked on the map? No. I hate guard duty down here. This place is fucking weird. This is nothing. The clocks? No, that's weird. What's weird about a bunch of clocks? Shut up! I think that's the new director. <laughs> Yeah, am I going to find any samples here, or do I got to go through the other side? <laughs> I can just do this. It's not like I have to go through the lab. They mustn't keep you very busy up there. Suddenly, I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. Don't taste it. You read what we just read. Yes, yeah, really, really, really isn't on the map at all. Those are new? Mold hosts. Did that not put a new thing in here? It didn't. sure if I should be shooting all of these things. They don't seem to be causing any harm. But 
before I forget about it, I want to see what's here. Pink flamingo supplement, an altered item. Agents noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of something seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After something, he was found to possess no something and was released. The item remains in Bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. <laughs> 